I'm from Tehran. I'm a comedian from Tehran. I was in the refugee camp. That's where I got this scar. Um, and I said, what better place to have comedy than a refugee camp? So that's how I become the comedian. <laughs> I swear to God. I mean, Allah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Because whenever I go to the gas station and they're too busy, I just go behind the counter and I check myself out. Thank you, coming in, sir. Let me ask you why else I love being an Arab. Because Arabs, we have a group. Because whenever I go to the airport, they make me feel at home. They tell me, take off your shoes, unpack your clothes. They even put me on a special VIP list. <laughs> they, put, they put handcuffs on me, so no one... <laughs> really courteous, very courteous. I love it, I love it. But let me tell you something, okay? Mm. Arabs, I heard of the new black. When I heard this, I went out, I bought myself some Mecca clothes, some FUBU shirts. I exchanged my turban for a durag. I was so excited, I even dropped my accent as a, Yo, dog, what's poppin', man? You know what I'm saying? Put it up! Let's go, dog! You know? And then one day, I took it too far. Too far. This guy, I go, hey, what's up, Jermaine? My lip! I swear to God, I turned to Rainy and right back, Go! Go! Get out of here! I swear to you. But I want to tell you something. The truth is, I'm actually from Palestine, West Virginia, and I actually talk like this. <laughs> Palestine, West Virginia. Born and raised. Growing up, I watched some of my favorite shows. One of my favorite shows growing up is The Andy Griffith Show. <laughs> I love Andy Griffith, man. I once got pulled over by a cop, and he goes, Now listen here! Do you know how fast you're going? I swear to God, I lost it right there. Almost. No, 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 I'm just joking. But my friends, when I came here, they told me, you know what, you should learn English, you should watch a couple of American movies. So I said, okay. They send me a couple of movies, I watch the movies. They go, I want you to intimidate, I want you to, Im is it intimidate or imitate? Yeah. Imitate, okay, I want you to imitate these guys. So I was like, okay, I take it home, I don't know how to talk like these guys. I watched that movie Casino with Joe Pesci. And I was like, in Goodfellas, I watched this movie, so I was like, whoa, 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 I'm a clown? I'm here to lose you? What's so funny about me, wise guy? They lost their talk. <laughs> Talk, talk came off, the things are ringing. You, I don't know, you tell me. And they gave me this other movie. I watched this movie. They're like, hey, do this. All right, watch this movie. So I've done this movie. Yo, you know, kid, you was, when you was this small, I was able to hold you in my hand like this. Watching you grow up every day was like a privilege. But somewhere along the way, something happened. You became a coward. And a coward in you, kid. <laughs> about my mother. My mother's actually here in the audience tonight. She said to me, she goes, I swear to God, if you tell anyone about me, I'll sue you. <laughs> I love her. I love her. It was so funny because the other day she, uh, she was on the telephone. She lost her internet. Did not take her internet. She was so mad. She called thank for support. For technical support, please say technical support. Technical support! <laughs> technical support, mother ever! Technical support! That's my time, thank you. <laughs>